All right, for our aldol condensation, I already have our sodium hydroxide in ethanol and water. I'm gonna go ahead and inject my benzaldehyde. We're gonna talk in a minute about why we're gonna do this one first. And then I'm gonna add my acetone dropwise to this. So you can see I'm doing it kind of quickly but still dropwise. And notice that the solution is um, clear but slightly yellow. And we're gonna just let this stir for about 15 minutes or so. In the meantime, we'll just check in on this in a little bit. But let's see why we're doing these things separately. So what's going to happen here is the hydroxide uh, in our solution is going to deprotonate the acidic uh, alpha hydrogen on our acetone. Uh, what's going to happen is we're going to end up with an enolate here, which is going to be a very nice nucleophile. If we were to just put the acetone in, that nucleophile we just made could attack other acetone molecules, which are kind of so-so electrophiles. And if that were to happen, that would be very sad. We would get the undesired product. Not great. However, if we have excess benzaldehyde and a lot of that around, notice that we have many good electrophiles here. Those are going to selectively be attacked by our nucleophilic enolate ion, and that will result in desirable happy times, and we're going to get our product. Let's go have a look now at our aldol. Oh my goodness. It is now kind of this peach color, and it is quite turbid. So we're going to just go ahead and let this stir for another uh, about, I don't know, 13 minutes or so, and then we'll, we'll take a look at what it looks like. Alrighty everyone, it has been about 15 minutes or so. We can see we kind of have a lot of particulates in there. Uh, it's still kind of that peachy yellow color. Uh, we still have another, I don't know, 20-30 minutes to go on this, so we'll just keep letting it spin. Alrighty, so our reaction is nice and sludgy. I'm going to go ahead and add some DI water, about 20 mils or so. Get that going. Okay, and notice we're going to get this a little bit, you know, less soluble. We see it's cloudier in there. I'm going to go ahead and stop the stirring. Alrighty, so we have our reaction mixture here. We're going to go ahead and filter it. So I have our filtration apparatus. I'm going to go ahead and wet the filter paper. Turn on our sink for the vacuum. And here we go. Alright, I still have quite a lovely amount of chunky stuff, so I will go ahead and rinse that out. Let's just make sure this is pulling vacuum. There we go. So because this product is completely insoluble in water, we can use as much water as we need to get this out. We can see that you can uh, all these just little yeasty looking things are in there. So we're going to go ahead and keep rinsing this to get all of it out. Uh, you probably should also take your stirrer out at this point, but I have forgotten to do that, so that's okay. Alrighty, and there is our product. So it's pretty much all out of here. We're going to pretend that it is. And we're going to just rinse this with quite a bit of water. So we had a pretty large excess of sodium hydroxide uh, in this, and all this extra water is going to help to remove that, because that will be a pretty big impurity uh, in, our, in our sample. So, in the interest of seeing how quickly this vacuum is pulling, I'm going to go ahead and just dump the water in. So again, because our product is completely insoluble in it, we are going to be just fine dumping these large quantities of water. Um, especially because this water is very cold. It's been in the ice machine. 
So that's gonna pull through and we're just gonna rinse it another couple of times. More water. Um, and you can see here that this product is this lovely, lovely yellow color. Um, unfortunately, the uh, you know the the video doesn't do it justice, but it's really quite yellow, like canary yellow. One more rinse should be good. And at this point, um, we're going to just let the vacuum pull for another couple minutes, dry it out as much as possible. We are then going to uh, put it into our locker and let it dry over the weekend. So um, just because you don't need to see this, I'm going to turn off the vacuum and I'll just show you, if possible, uh, what we're kind of looking at here. So uh, if you can see just kind of how yellow and grain granular this is. So we're going to let this dry off over the weekend and then we'll mass it and take an IR.